right here. Alright, I'm not ready yet. Just keep going. Keep going. I'm not ready yet. That's his house. That's his house. It looks like he's there. Two vehicles. I'll pick up. Nice.
doorbell. I knocked on the door. I did everything I could. Nobody? Nobody answered. I didn't even see movement inside the home. But clearly there's two vehicles here. And, you know, I'm not sure if it was just the fact that they couldn't hear me. You know, if they're older and hard of hearing. Or if... You and know, you're here at Jackie Dobbs' house. What were you going to ask them? Uh, a lot of things. I was going to ask them, you know... We know he just recently purchased the property. What property? Uh, on Ben Hill Road across the street from Summer Wells' home. His name has been brought up several times in, you know, related to the possibility of him being involved in the disappearance of Summer Wells. So I wanted to ask him, you know, where he was at the time that she went missing, if, she, if he knew the family, if he ever had seen Summer personally, what his experience was dealing with the family, um, what he thought may have happened to Summer, if he thought Don and Candace were involved. You know, there was a lot of questions that I, I did have that I thought maybe he could shed light on. I personally don't believe Jackie Dobbs had anything to do with the disappearance of Summer Wells. So I just wanted to, one, let him give an opportunity to clear his name uh, for the record. And um, two, uh, you know, give him an opportunity to tell us what the Wells were like in his dealings with them and what he thought might ha have happened to Summer Wells. Were you scared when you knocked on his door? I wasn't scared. I have to say, you know, any of these cases, when you're going approaching a home, you're approaching people, you're dealing with cases, you have nerves. And my nerves are what, you know, they, they get a little worked up, but, you know, you have to get your head right and you got to you know, stay laser focus on what your question is going to be and how you're going to question them. And you got to, it's got to be fluid. So you never know what the, what's going to come out of their mouth. So you have to be ready to move that conversation in different directions. What about the uh, rumors that you, we've been hearing um, online that Jackie Dobbs received a trespass warning or a trespass um, on the Wells property or by the Wells property, uh, you know, just before summer wells went missing yeah i'm curious about that because i mean outside of allegations we pulled incident cards we've pulled um you know police uh cards you know police information and we never saw anything in those incident cards uh alleging that you know outside of somebody saying that to us and and hearing it you know possibly gossip we didn't see any records of that happening so yeah, I would be interested in finding that out. Um, you know, when we heard that, I always, everybody said he was trespassed off the property, but nobody told us which property he was really trespassed off. It was only alleged that it was this, the Wells property, so. All right, I'm going to uh, turn around. I'm gonna drive down here a minute and turn around. I don't, is this, can I turn around? I don't know, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it goes to another property or. Maybe I'll turn around here. Yeah. All right, so this is the home of Jackie Dobbs. He didn't answer. He did but there not is answer. two cars in the driveway. Let me get this on pretty good. So here's Jackie Dobbs. Here's the cars. All right, pulling out. And this is Cleveland, Georgia. Cleveland, Georgia. That's well. Alright, so Bullhorn Betty, she knocked on the door of Jackie Dobbs. Jackie Dobbs um, was in the area where Summer Wells went missing. Uh, Jackie Dobbs, uh, according to tax records, had a parcel of property on Ben Hill Road right near the home of Don and Candace Wells. He owns a home here in Cleveland, uh, Georgia. Came here, Bullhorn Betty knocked on his door, just talked to him, but nobody answered. There's two cars there, there's a white pickup truck. And then at the right SUV, uh, it's on a main. This is 129 uh, Main 
road here. This is uh, White County, Georgia. Uh, but Jackie Dobbs lives there. We just want to ask him questions, you know. Uh, uh, maybe he can debunk the rumors up there or uh, squash the rumors out there that, you know, he is involved or he knows something. Um, maybe he can provide some insight about Don and Candace Wells, uh, about Summer Wells, just about the whole case in general. Um, clear his name. Uh, we'll try to reach him other methods, but we came here, we tried. So, uh, but you see this kind of big area, big property. Um, right here. Where is Summer Wells? Where is Summer Wells? If you have any information about the whereabouts of Summer Wells, contact the Tennessee Borough Investigation at 1-800-TBI-FINE or Hawkins County, Tennessee Sheriff. Let's bring Summer home. All right, so I am writing a letter to... Jackie Dobbs. Jackie Dobbs. Uh, hi, Mr. Dobbs. My name is Jonathan Riches. I am a reporter covering the Summer Wells case. I stopped by your house here, but you didn't answer. Can you please contact me? I would like to chat with you. And then I'm going to leave this on his truck. Um, I'm going to leave my phone number and I'm going to leave my email contact. And then hopefully Mr. Dobbs can, uh, hopefully he reaches out to me. You know, I like to talk to him about the Summer Wells case and if he knows any information that can, you know, help or, you know, debunk rumors that are online. I know he probably sees his name circulating, so I just wanted to get his thoughts on that. So I'm going to put this letter um, in his, um, on his truck. Jonathan Lee Riches, a.k.a. JLR, uh, has written a letter to Mr. Dobbs, and I am going to put it on his truck window. That's what I'm going to do right now. And the letter is, you know, to reach out to him. Yes, the letter is to reach out to him and have him hopefully contact Jonathan uh, so we can get at least an interview from him related to the Summer Wells case. All right, so hopefully Jackie Dobbs uh, gets back to us, gets back to me, Bullhorn Betty, and we will try to find more information. Where is Summer Wells? Where is Summer?